And Max Gordon is live with the newest video. Max, what are you looking at? Yeah, so we've gotten a lot of videos and pictures into our newsroom. And as you mentioned, there are millions of Americans have been at risk for severe weather from down on the Gulf Coast to up around the Great Lakes, a huge swath of area all across the country. Now, the highest risk of tornadoes has hovered over western Tennessee, Arkansas, Alabama, and Mississippi. And that'll stick around until at least 8 p.m. local time. So we've got 40 minutes left of that. We have seen multiple, or I guess an hour 40 rather, left of that. Now, we've got, seen multiple tornado worn storms and a few confirmed tornadoes so far. Just take a look at this. The most impactful images of the day so far. This video was taken in Smithville, Mississippi. This is where we saw a confirmed tornado. Just to give you an idea where that is, that's about 40 minutes outside of Tupelo, Mississippi. Another confirmed tornado tore up a Dollar Tree and a gas station in Ripley. This is in Tippa County in the northern part of the state. Trees and power lines were also reported down near Highway 15 between Ripley and Faulkner. Mississippi really has not been able to catch a break today. This is video from storm tracker Brad Arnold in Saltillo, Mississippi. And you can see the ominous skies here. This is a wall cloud and there appears to be a little bit of circling movement there. Now, many of you have been experiencing heavy rain. This video right here was taken as storm tracker Brad Arnold made his way through Corinth, Mississippi. In addition to the potential of tornadoes, we've seen those heavy downpours today. And just take a look at I-269 earlier this afternoon. There's been a lot of moisture associated with this storm. The heavy rain leading to a lot of flood potential. Flash flooding has been a concern as we head into the evening hours. Now, earlier today, I spoke with field meteorologist and storm tracker Brett Adair. He told me that everyone in the storm's path has really needed to continue to be weather aware even throughout the evening. Uh, no matter the case, if you're at home watching your viewer, you know, these tornado warnings that come out, the National Weather Service is issuing these for a reason. You need to have a severe weather safety plan in place. You need to use today as an example because we're just beginning with the spring season as we go into late February, early March. And this is something that we're going to contend with pretty regularly for the next couple of months. On the cold side of this storm, strong winds were blowing through Illinois when a tree fell on the Evanston campus of Northwestern University, injuring four staff members today. It happened this afternoon when the area was under a winter weather advisory. The university says an arborist will check to see if other trees are compromised on campus. And we'll keep on watching for that video as it comes into the newsroom. Steve, thank yeah, you. St still got a long ways to go. Fox Brothers, Max Gordon, thank you for that report. And I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.